Wake up! Yeah, it's that time again, Vape AM, brought to you by Vapors1.com. I'm your host, Anthony Ramella. All right, uh, first off this morning, I do need to make a big correction about yesterday. I watched the show, and sometimes your brain thinks something and your mouth says something else. So, a couple of things real quick. Uh, Tobacco Free Kids is sponsored by Big Pharma, not Big Tobacco, and also Big Pharma is the ones that make all of these stop smoking uh, secession tools uh, that they're trying to push through and get rid of vaping. So I just wanted to make that correction this morning in case you guys were paying attention. I was just wound up yesterday and ended up saying Big Tobacco instead of Big Pharma. So Big Pharma, Tobacco Free Kids, that's who pays their bills, just so we're clear on all that. All right, guys, Um, like we normally do every morning, we do a little bit of history this morning. Um, I went through uh, quite a bit of history uh, last night trying to get ready for the show, and the one thing that really kind of stood out to me, and it's a little bit of a sad story, but it's been some time ago, and it's one of these things that I think that we just have become accepting of, and I don't think that we should. So in 1998, a teen gunman uh, opened fire in Thurston High School in Springfield, uh, Oregon, uh, killing two students after killing his parents. The reason why I'm bringing this up is this teenager was sentenced to 112 years in prison. All right, if we're making a decision that teenagers can't make adult decisions like making the choice to switch to vaping or being able to vape at all, How can we treat them as adults uh, in this kind of situation? Now, yes, this is a horrible crime. And yes, I think that this teenager should have gotten everything that he was given. But I think that this has to sway both ways. If we're going to treat people like adults in one way, we need to treat them like that in every way. And if you're smart enough and you know what's wrong and you can do something like this, I think vaping seems a little silly after that. You know, it's something that if you need to make that choice to not smoke cigarettes and to vape, you should be able to have that option at, uh, at age 18. So just a little bit of history for you today. Uh, a couple of fun birthdays to talk about today. Um, one of my, uh, I don't want to say idol, but I love this guy, uh, Notorious B.I.G. Uh, now, I know he's not with us anymore, but today would have been his birthday, so I wanted to uh, at least celebrate that. Um, you know, he he's, was a phenomenal artist. I really enjoyed his music, and uh, if you've ever seen any of the other things that I do, there's a, there's a lot of influence from him on there. So just wanted to give a shout out to Biggie. Um, The other thing uh, today is it's Mr. T's birthday. So uh, he's still around. Uh, I actually saw him on a cable show the other day doing like a dumbest criminal show and uh, he's still putting it out there. The Mohawk's getting a little gray now, but other than that, uh, he's still doing it. So, and I think if Mr. T was here today, he'd say, I pity the fool that don't switch to vaping. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Anyway, just a little fun this morning. All right, guys, uh, I decided to do some uh, different kind of news today. I mean, this is still vaping news, but it's uh, stuff off of the CASA website. Uh, If you're not a member of CASA, become a member. It takes, I mean, literally probably less than a minute to become a member of CASA, and you get daily updates on things that are happening in your area as well as all across the United States. So one of the, I'm going to talk about a few things today. I'm going to try not to beat on California as bad as yesterday, but they just keep coming up in vaping news, and I just can't ignore this stuff. Uh, So in... uh, Hermosa Beach, California, Uh, they have uh, basically already raised the uh, age to 21 to purchase cigarettes, but the thing that they're doing now is that they are completely banning um, all of the uh, vape products uh, for flavors. So there are going to be no flavored vape products available there. And the weird thing about it is the number one uh, smoking cigarette in that area by teenagers is Marlboro, and they're actually available everywhere still. There is, there's really not a lot of restrictions on regular cigarettes in California. It all seems to be uh, centered around vaping products. All right. So that's all I'm going to talk about with California today. We're going to move on to some other states. All right. So uh, Vermont uh, is the next one on here. Uh, it says it's a sad day for tobacco harm reduction in, uh, in Vermont. Uh, the governor basically is not allowing access to anyone under the age of 21, which we've seen this happen quite a few times. But the worst part about it is there's actually a 92% wholesale tax that's sitting on his desk waiting to be signed. This is almost doubling the cost uh, for any retailer uh, in Vermont to sell products to you. So like if you're going to your local vape shop, like if you're going to a vapor store, 
you would see twice as much. So like a $20 bottle of e-liquid would now be like $40 because they have to pass that on to you. That's the only way that they can stay in business. And it's really ridiculous because, you know, they, they could find other ways to deal with this. And it's not like this was a slow progression. I mean, 92%. I mean, imagine if you went to the grocery store, picked out a hundred bucks worth of groceries, you had $92 in tax. I mean, that's, that's insane and in, in any aspect. And I understand they want to make this like a sin tax, but still, this is just absurd. 92% tax is just, it's unbelievable. I'm going to take a little break here. I've got a couple more stories I want to talk about. But at uh, VaporsOne.com and at all the Vapor stores, there's a couple of things that uh, I wanted to talk to you about. First off, uh, we're releasing some Omega flavors uh, a little quicker than we normally do. Normally, we do a liquid of the week, and we're actually going to bring out some more liquids uh, a little bit quicker this week. So this today I'm going to talk about is the Omega flavor called Lemon Pucker. If you are a fan of the Lemon Heads candy, they are phenomenal. Um, and this flavor mimics that perfectly. So if you like lemon, you're looking for something that's decent in lemon, I would definitely come by and check it out. They're 100 mil bottles for like $19.99. You can get them off the website, you can get them at any of the stores, and they are available now. Uh, we hadn't released it before because I don't have every nicotine strength that we normally carry, but I wanted to get this stuff out to you guys because it's a phenomenal flavor, and if this helps you stop smoking, I definitely want to do that. Second thing is uh, we have uh, some new apparel that's available at the Vapor stores. Uh, we have the I Vape, I Vote shirts that are now available. And when I say this, these aren't available in just small, medium, and large. I am a big guy, and I understand that a lot of you Vapors out there are big guys. If anybody else watches any other review shows, they're all big guys. So these are available in 2X and 3X sizes also and the price stays the same. We're not gouging you bigger guys because I don't like that when I go to a store, so I'm not doing it to you here. So I have I Vape I Vote shirts, we have I Vape I Vote hoodies, they're all available in those larger sizes. We also have uh, some regular Vapor shirts that are available and also some Vapor's hoodies available as well. Now we kept these prices as low as we could because we want you guys to have access to these products and especially the I Vape I Vote shirts. Uh, I think they're only like 12 bucks. So if you want to promote this and tell people that you are a voter and that you believe that vaping is a safer alternative to smoking and you want more people to switch over to vaping, get to the website, go to one of the stores, you know, try it on one of the shirts, make sure what size is going to fit you. But we do have quite a bit of that stuff available for you as well. All right, so we'll get on to some more news here. Um, one of my favorite states, and unfortunately, they are trying some crazy stuff. Uh, if you saw the title of this episode, it's Colorado. No. Uh, basically, the city has now amended their flavored tobacco uh, ban to only include vape products. So all tobacco products like cigarettes, cigars, cigarellos, hookah, all that stuff that's flavored, that's okay. The kids don't want to have anything to do with that. Right. Uh, but actually what, what this actually says is basically that it has uh, just limited the access not only to people that are under the age of 21, but also the uh, flavor ban only applies now to vaping products. Colorado, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, you have such leniency in other areas, and then this is something you're cracking down on, and it just seems a little bit ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna kind of wrap this up today by talking about one other thing. We've talked about three or four different states here in the, you know, recently that have raised the age for tobacco use to 21. And everybody thinks that this is going to be a way to keep young people from getting access to it. I understand a little bit of the logic when they're saying, you know, you have 18 year old high school seniors that can provide these products to other people. But at 21, there are all kinds of drinking going on at uh, you know, the teenage level. And this is something that hasn't gone away just because they've changed the age. And you might think, okay, well, raising that would probably help. Well, that's really kind of funny that you'd think that because uh, there's a poll uh, right now, uh, and out of 75% of the people that were polled, uh, think that raising the age to 21 would curb tobacco use among young people. Uh, but here's the sticking point. In Hawaii, uh, where Tobacco 21 actually passed in 2016, Hax actually has the third highest vaping rate among young people of all the states. So they've had this law in effect for like three years now, and they're the third highest of all everywhere. So this hasn't curbed anything. It's probably actually encouraged them to do this more because they have easier access on the black market, which is the concern that I have once this passes is that the black market is just gonna go crazy. All right, one last thing we'll talk about today and then we'll get you guys out of here. Uh, this is an update from Wisconsin. 
Uh, they had uh, talked about banning uh, vaping in all indoor facilities, including vape shops. Uh, they have amended that now so that uh, you can actually uh, vape inside of a vape store if you're an existing vape shop. So if you open up a new vape shop in Wisconsin, you cannot vape inside. Uh, there's also a lot of other bans about where you can vape, but the uh, the actual vape shops that are vape shops <laughs> that are currently in Wisconsin right now, they are lifting that so you can actually vape in the shop. So I guess <laughs> I'll take any little win wherever we can get it. So Wisconsin, thank you for at least doing that. Um, I think it's just a, a little piece of what you should be doing. Uh, and the funny thing is, I just recently read an article um, that was out of California, believe it or not, uh, that they did a study inside of a small vape shop. They had 13 people just blowing clouds. This was an unventilated shop. Uh, the place was absolutely filled with vapor, uh, exhaled vapor, like what we call secondhand vapor. And when they did the test on the air quality, that showed absolutely no harm. Absolutely none. And this was a professionally done scientific study that showed that this was not an issue. And we've talked about this several times, but I'd like to see when somebody actually sits down and does the research and shows there's absolutely no problem with this. And I think that's part of the issue that I have with the indoor vaping bans and things like that is that secondhand smoke was the reason why that that was banned because secondhand smoke is dangerous, but secondhand vapor poses no danger and it's just one of those other things that vaping does for us that cigarettes never did. So a lot of stuff today. I wanted to just kind of touch on that. Like I said, join CASA if you're not already a member and you know here at Vape AM our goal is to get you to stop smoking or you're gonna die. All right. Remember I vape, I vote. Get on the website, get a shirt, be part of the solution, not part of the problem. We'll come to you again tomorrow with some more great news, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.